What is going on everyone and welcome back once again to the Food One weekends here at the Hilton Bonnet Creek Orlando and Waldorf Astoria. Yes. Super excited. Uh, this is the second time that we've been here. The first time was great. Mm -hmm. uh, we are kind of shooting this a little late so I'm kind of spoiling it already but we just had drinks that were freshly made. Holy cow they are great. And everything here smells amazing. We are going to be able to taste things from Zeta Asia, La Luce, Peacock Alley, that's where the cocktails are coming from, yep. and Bull in there. Yes, and the big thing this year is really focusing on vegan dishes, which is really cool. Yes. Um, I think that that's an awesome choice, but also there are plenty of dishes available for those who prefer the meatier side of things. Yes. We're also going to get to try some of their pastries, which they also have some vegan pastry options as yeah. well. And then this is something that you can experience on Fridays and Saturdays at Waldorf Astoria and Hilton Bonnet Creek at all of their restaurants. So um, here tonight we are just kind of having a tasting so we can get a look at everything and see what there is. Yeah. So we're going to be roaming around. I keep looking over at the table because that's where our drinks are and I want to go finish it. Hopefully they don't take them. So <laughs> let's get started. For this evening we are making a drink that we're adding to the menu actually in the new menu rollout it's called silk and candy uh, it's a riff on a classic cocktail called bees knees which is composed of only three ingredients it's uh, gin honey and lemon juice and uh, what we did to change this cocktail a little bit was uh, instead of just honey we are doing a uh, green tea honey and sheep's milk yogurt cordial and it what it does it adds a really creamy layer to the cocktail. The reason that we chose this gin, Monkey 47 actually, is that it has uh, 47 unique botanicals um, and really just adds a woodsy, citrus, piney, sweet note to the cocktail. chose cheap smoke in this is because it adds kind of like a funky flavor to the drink. Um, it doesn't go as far as like goat's, goat's milk and edible flour. And what I did is I took some violet liqueur and I dehydrated it for four days and uh, turned into like a crystallized candy. It's delicious. And then just ground it up to kind of add a another layer to the drink. Excellent. Enjoy. Thank you so much. That is really good. I was thinking maybe it was gonna have a weird flavor because of the sheep's milk that is in there. And I don't think I've honestly had a cocktail with milk of any kind in it. This is actually very good. You get a little bit of like citrus, but it's also like light and kind of airy almost. All right, so I'm going to try this drink. I'm very nervous about it because it's uh, made with sheep's milk. And as you guys probably know, I do not like milk at all. Wow, it is exceptionally smooth and so very creamy. Um, it's really light, it's amazing. There is a really nice hint of citrus in there, but not like a, I think it said something about like maybe being an earthy citrus taste, but I'm really just giving that citrus. And it is truly a phenomenal drink. I'm not, you know, I think we, you guys probably know that we are here quite often um, and it's not because we're being paid to be here or anything is because literally the food, the service, everything here is made with quality and it's phenomenal. Is Taylor gonna drive tonight? I hope so. I might have a couple of these. All right, so we are finally gonna start digging into the food and we are starting with La Luce. With their tasting menu on Fridays and Saturdays from 6 to 11 p.m., it's a four course dinner for $55 and there's a couple different options you can get. So for your antipasta, you can select one of two items and tonight we are trying the arancini a la milanese. It looks very good. I typically don't like arancini, but I am excited to try it because I have never had anything that I didn't like from La Luce. Um, also from the Primi, which is like their pasta, um, you can get one of two options. And tonight we are trying the lasagna a fungi, which is a wild mushroom, spinach, and truffle cheese lasagna. We also have the vegan option of the cauliflower salad. However, our version is not vegan because it does have cheese on top. So you can get this without the cheese and you will have the vegan version. 
So I am excited to dig in and try these few items we have here tonight. So the veal was very tender on the inside. You get that a nice flavor from that. It also, if you don't know what the arancini, it's very crunchy on the outside and then it's like nice and soft and like perfect cooked risotto on the inside. And there are some peas in there as well, gives an extra little crunch in there. But I cannot wait to find out what this sauce is made of because it is fabulous. Now I'm trying the lasagna. It is so good. I am the person that likes a typical traditional lasagna with like red sauce, maybe like a meat sauce, cheese, ricotta, provolone, mozzarella, whatever you put in there. This is amazing. It has wild mushrooms, spinach, and truffle cheese. And that truffle cheese with the mushrooms really gives a nice flavor. And it's not too overwhelming because sometimes truffle can overwhelm your palate, but this does not at all. All right, so I am trying the vegan option here at La Luce. It is the cauliflower salad, and it is quite good. Um, the cauliflower has been cooked, and it is still cooked enough that there's a nice um, little bit of like a a crunch it's not super soft that it like just kind of melts in your mouth uh, there's also some white beans in there and it is phenomenal it is super light uh, for me this obviously is not totally vegan because it has the aged parmesan cheese on it uh, but it, but it's good the beans uh, combined with the beans add a little bit more like creaminess to the salad um, whereas like the actual greens and the cauliflower add that little bit of a crunch so it's a really great balance and uh, I love it. I could eat this uh, all day. It's phenomenal. Probably one of my favorite places that I've been looking for to try tonight is from Bolden Bear. So we have got three different dishes. We have uh, oyster Rockefellers, we've got a pork, and then we've got an awesome looking vegan dish. I'm gonna start with uh, oyster Rockefeller. Uh, this is Peak season boutique oysters, uh, Pernod fresh spinach and cheese crumb. Uh, it looks awesome. I am a huge oyster fan. I cannot wait to try these. These are huge. They look so good. A little bit of saltiness in there. Balance really well with the bitterness of the spinach. And then a nice crunch added from the cheese crumble that is put on top and then it's kind of baked. All right, so I'm gonna now switch to the vegan option that you get here at Bull and Bear. Uh, looks phenomenal. It is the seasonal vegetable focaccia. All right, so this is uh, this is really good. Definitely a different option. No meat. Uh, it's something that is different for me. I don't mind eating vegan options. It's definitely not my go-to. But if this was presented to me to eat, I would definitely eat it. Have uh, some beautiful uh, squash and zucchini. Uh, these are going to be locally grown. Uh, we have an assortment of grains. So we have quinoa, black barley. Uh, some spelt in there, and then uh, our chanterelles are imported from France. Oh, wow. We roast all that off together and then finish it with a pesto uh, that we make in-house with pine nuts and spinach and arugula, uh, no cheese. Um, and then we finish that in the bowl. Everything's good to go, very nice vegan dish. All balanced together, it's, uh, it's not like soft, it's not crunchy, but it's like this really nice tender kind of in the middle area, uh, and it's phenomenal. And I'm getting all of like the flavor profiles that the chef was talking about, which is great. Uh, again, definitely something that I would try. And Bowl and Bear is one place that we have probably been more adventurous with, more adventure row with some. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's phenomenal. It is really hard to go wrong here at Bowl and Bear. So just like at La Luce, uh, Bull and Bear is also doing a four course dinner. It's $125 a person. Um, and you can also add a captain's wine pairing for $45 or a saumonier wine pairing for $65. Um, this uh, Iberico double cut pork chop is part of the third course. It's basically your entree. It looks amazing. It's um, nice and tender. It's still juicy even though they just freshly cut it. And then this sauce that they add on top of it just adds a whole nother level to it. It's great, something I would definitely come back and eat again. So we have made it to Zeta Asia, and of course we're gonna try some sushi tonight. We are also gonna have their bibimbap. One of the options as a second course, you can try the pork bao bun. It's slow roasted pork belly, tangy Asian barbecue sauce, pickled cucumber, and the bao bun, of course. 
And then two entree options, we have the sushi rolls, the bonsai and kanji rolls. The bonsai roll is spicy ahi tuna, cucumber, barbecue eel, avocado, and tempura crunch. And then the kanji roll is the spicy salmon, cucumber, avocado, tobiko, sriracha, and micro cilantro. And then for the beef short rib bibimbap, it is short rib, fried egg, spinach, namu, Japanese rice, and sauce. And it's the spicy sauce that I really like. And my favorite tonight was the bonsai roll that which had the barbecue eel on it. It added a nice little like extra like spiciness and bite to the dish. And don't be afraid to try eel because it doesn't have some crazy exotic flavor. It actually pairs really well with all the other flavors like the tuna and avocado and the rice. It's very good. So Chef Carrie is gonna use some nice chocolate raw. What chocolate are you using? I have 53% dark chocolate here. And I have something brand new. This is called Ruby Chocolate. And it's from a brand new cocoa bean, like a whole new cocoa bean itself. It has a very fruity, when you think of chocolate, it's it's very different taste. It's very unique, very fun. So, and we'll do a little bit of our toppings here. We have caramelized hazelnut. We have some crispy strawberries, so it's a freeze-dried strawberry. Well, this is so good. I eat them like a candy. Yep. A little bit more. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Now we have mango. Same for the mango. Caramelized sesame seeds. <laughs> I heard that. Some caramelized almonds. You just mean we put more sugar? Yep. Popcorn. Oh, yeah. popcorn. Popcorn is good. Frozen popcorn. Whoa. It's going to be in a second. Well, Chef Carrie, I'm ready. Chef Renard, take it away. So the pastry chef Carrie just made for us some liquid nitrogen chocolate bark. It was regular chocolate, ruby chocolate, and then basically any toppings you could think of. It is so good. <laughs> the chocolate is so cold, but so easy to eat. Mm. This is a wonderful dessert. Yep. All right, on to the desserts. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there is a ton up there to pick from, and by no means do I remember like anything that there is up there, uh, other than just a few things that kind of stuck out to me, so I really wanna try them. So, uh, I'm gonna try this really cool dome-shaped dessert. It's got like this dome that is hollow. I can pick it up and I can look through it, which is really cool. Uh, it's supposed to be some type of like a mint uh, meringue, I think, so. All right, this smells exactly like a peppermint. Um, like a thin mint? A, a thin mint, uh, what, what's the actual Andy's like? Andy's candy? Andy's candy. If you've never had an Andy's candy before, go out to the store right now, eat one, come back, let me know. This is what this is gonna taste like. It smells like that, I guarantee it's probably gonna taste like that. That right there, my friends is one of the best desserts I've ever had. God. So Josh tried this pumpkin macaron and I'm gonna try it now too. Mm. No. That's very good. It has a chocolate filling. However, it kind of just tastes like a pumpkin pie in macaron form. You get that cinnamon in there, you get that pumpkin flavor, and then you get the nice texture of the like hard shell on the outside. Not really hard, but like the crunch of the shell on the outside, and then it's nice and like smooth on the inside. I actually really like this, and it's like humongous, so. This is a dessert itself. Well, that is, uh, that's it. I... 
And that's gonna do it for our preview of food and wine weekends. And this is something you can experience on Friday and Saturdays here at the Waldorf Astoria and Hilton yeah. Bonnet Creek from like 6 to 11 p.m. I believe they're like four course meals. Um, kind of like a prefix menu, but you do have a couple options to choose from yeah. and some excellent options. So. Yeah, it is different if, you, if you're thinking food and wine weekends like Epcot, it, it's not like that where they have no. You have to go into the restaurant and sit down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, special order. menus. Um, yes. Probably good idea if you do have a reservation, that way Absolutely. you're guaranteed seating. Um, you can do this at La Luce and Bowl and Bear, and then you can also come to Zeta Asia, which is typically pretty much open seating. Yeah, we have never gotten a reservation, I think, at Zeta no, Asia. Not that you, you may still need one depending on what time you yeah. show up, but we mm -hmm. have not ever needed one, so. But we like to be early and go at opening for everything and anything. Yeah. So I know that we have pretty much said everything was positive about this, and it might come across as us like not being real, but I cannot stress enough that the level of service, mm -hmm. the attention to detail, mm -hmm. and like just the overall atmosphere of not only just this preview in general, but of Bull and Bear and of La Luce is just, mm -hmm. it, they are at the top of the food chain. And that's yeah. the reason why they are ranked as high as they are on TripAdvisor. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they do such a phenomenal job. If you have not eaten at one of these two restaurants yet, mm -hmm. I really, really encourage you to do so. La Luce is not as expensive as Bull and Bear. Bull and Bear mm -hmm. is a little more expensive. Yes. Uh, it is a signature style restaurant. It is. They do a lot of table side preparation. Mm -hmm. uh, and La Luce is just a great top of the line Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. They actually have a lot of, um, they actually have a lot of team members that work there that are from Italy. Yeah. And they will tell you how authentic that food is and how yes. excellent everything is there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And don't forget for some of the best sushi to go to Zeta Asia. Yes. My favorite seriously. though is still the dragon roll. That dragon roll <laughs> was awesome. If you're wondering about that, you can go back and watch our uh, little selfish mm -hmm. plug here that we already yeah. mentioned earlier, but go back and check that out. It was yeah. great. We was have fun. dining reviews from all three of the restaurants here, so. Oh yeah, we do. I, for some reason, forgot about that. Yeah. So let us know if you plan on coming over to Hilton Bonnet Creek or Waldorf Astoria to try out food and wine weekends. Yeah.